What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Always Occupied Home and Product Reviews. And in this review, we are going to go over the Bratify Keypad Deadbolt. This is going to be a little bit in depth. So if you have this, this is going to be useful for you. If you're actually looking to buy this, this will also be useful for you because I am going to go over most of the programming. I already played with this for a little bit. When you start using this, you have to use a program code. Now the program code is like, it's like your safety net. So in order for you to program this, you have to enter in the program code first. Now what I did, I already changed my program code because the code they have is a little bit too long for me just to keep programming numbers. They also had a uh, default code, which was one, two, three, four. So let's see if this unlocks. One, two, three, four. When a new user code is set, the default factory code one, two, three, four is deleted for safety. Now mine didn't get deleted. And I think it's because when I set the new one, I didn't put it on user one. I know it sounds like a lot. It, it really is a lot, but I mean, that's just the way it is when programming these things. Some, some are actually more complicated than this, believe it or not. So in order to change stuff, you have to have this locked. Now let's go ahead and start programming this thing. You can add up to 50 users. 50 people can use your lock. I know you don't have 50 people going in and out of your house, but you know, they give you the choice to have 50 codes. So let's go ahead and add another code. Then let me hit one. ID O three five and then new code lock two oh, oh nine lock. All right, it says here one beep and light indicator illuminates green. So let's see if that work. Two one oh nine. All right, that's how you use uh well add a user for your code that id is what id number uses this keypad so when i did id 03 that is the third person that would use this keypad okay you guys so let's see if we can delete that uh that factory code the one two three four it was supposed to delete by itself but it didn't so we are going to delete it ourselves or try to. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and try to delete all of the codes that I put on here. So let's try it. Programming code. Lock. All right. Three. Lock. Re-enter programming code. and then lock again. All right, let me see if. Ah, it reset it. It reset it. Let me let me enter in the one that I did in front of y'all. It reset all the codes. I think except for the factory code. I think the factory code is still there. Oh, it erased the factory code too. All right, you guys. So when it delete all the user codes, it actually deleted the factory code as well. So that's what we was trying to do in the first place. We get, get rid of that one, two, three, four thing. So if you put in this in front of your house, you are safe. You don't have to worry about somebody coming to your door and just 
saying, okay, let's try one, two, three, four. And hopefully that will never happen to anybody. But, you know, that would probably be the first thing somebody do will uh, press one, two, three, four. And then the, your front door will be open. We actually don't have a code now. So we are going to go back to put in a new user code. Okay, you guys, we're moving along and let's get into the automatic lock function. All right, it says set or cancel auto lock. So right now we are going to set our auto lock. We are not going to cancel it. It's basically a timer. So when you close your door, your, your door will just automatically lock instead of you closing your door and hit the lock like that. That is quicker. But what if you are late for work and you're on the highway and you're just thinking to yourself and say, oh, I forgot to lock my door. And you start to realize that, oh, yeah, I have an auto lock function on my door. All right. So auto lock is pretty cool. So let's get into programming the auto lock. It says time value range 20 to 900 seconds so let's go ahead and put 20 seconds uh no i'm gonna waste 20 seconds of your life but that's just the way it is let's do this again five five, five uh 20 lock Okay, we got one beat. So let's see if the auto lock works. It says auto lock in 20 seconds. Oh, so the auto lock works. Let's do that again. We're going to wait 20 seconds. 15 more seconds left. You guys stay with me. 10 more seconds left. Five more seconds left. Don't click off of the video. Stay with me. And that was 20 seconds. We are working, you guys. We are working. And this keypad is working. All right. We, all right, we don't want to cancel. Let's just leave it on for right now. All right, let's get to the next one. We have sound on and off mode. All right, so if we want to, if you're tired of hearing all this, blah, 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 all those numbers. Right now it says sound on and off. So let's get into it. Programming code. Lock. Here it says six, lock, one or two. So we're gonna do two for sound off, lock. And let's see. We have no sound, you guys. So everybody don't need to hear you in the neighborhood. All right, now you have secure lockout period. So after, after four incorrect code attempts, the keypad shuts down for 60 seconds. So let's try it real quick. Um, let me just hit in the number, I don't know. Four, five, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. All right, so let me use my code to see if it unlocks. It shut down. The lock button don't even work, you guys. See, it shut down. So let me let 60 seconds go and turn y'all back on. We're back online. All right, I actually like the sound. So let me put the sound back on.
The instructions are very easy to understand. It's easy to digest. All right, that's about it, you guys. Uh, I don't have nothing else. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section. This is a nice keypad. I just went over everything. So I hope y'all have a good one and happy Father's Day and, and all the holidays that's coming up. Catch y'all in the next video.